Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, book review, Scary Book Reviews with Jamie. Today's book is The Lodger by Marie Belloc Laund Laundies. I don't know how to say. It's a story of the London a story of the London fog. This was written, I think, in 1913. I don't remember anything. You think I'd research this more? But I just finished this uh, last night. I finished it. I'm like, I'm gonna do a review. I'm, and today was review day, so it was perfect timing for me. The Bluntines are an elderly London couple who have fallen on hard times. They've taken a lodger with a strange name of Mr. Sleuth, who pays handsomely for their shabby rooms. He seems to be a perfect gentleman, but nonetheless, they begin to suspect that he may be the Jack the Ripper-like serial killer known in the press as the Avenger. As the number of murders in the city begins to mount, and Mr. Bunting's teenage daughter from an earlier marriage comes to stay. The couple must decide what to do about the man in their upstairs rooms. This is an early example of a psychological suspense story and a brilliant... Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. No gore. No violence, really. Just you constantly turn into page going, what is going to happen next? This is... People say this a lot. A page turner, but this is it. This is a really good... My dad sent this to me. He sent me a... I think I did a review on The Vampire, which was the first ever American... You should check that review out. It was the first ever American uh, vampire uh, story. And my dad sent this to me as well, on top of it. And I just finished it. And uh, thanks, Dad, if you're watching this video. This was really good. I love these old... I like Victorian... I like Sherlock Holmes and all that stuff. I like all that Victorian stuff. And this, I guess, Victorian... Era ended, in, I think, in 1911. But you get the point. 1913 is close enough. But, uh, yes. This is a really good story. I'm going to give this, out of my five skull rating... Actually, let me... If you have time, stay with me for a second. Someone did a review on this. Let me see if I can find it. And I really liked it. This is a, uh, I think it's a girl. I can't tell by the name, but I won't say her name. But she wrote, it's, she wrote another classic whodunit from the Victorian era. So she's called it the Victorian era, too. So published in 1913, the lodger is filled with suspense and mystery. Mrs. and Mr. Bunting are three seconds away from the poorhouse when they get a new lodger. He pays in sovereigns, and, is, and he isn't stingy. An answer to their unprayed prayers. But his behavior is strange. Very eccentric. He talks to himself doesn't tolerate women and he takes walks late at night during the most nastiest of fogs the bluntings barely have enough to think about about him with all the mutilated murders upstaging the usual crimes just who is this unnatural murderer who dares to leave a calling card the answer might be very close to home that's how she wrote that i'm really good good writing whoever that was but anyway i thought that was good she gave it uh, four stars out of five. But I don't do star stars. I do skulls. And guess what? I agree with her. This book gets four skulls. Loved it. Oh, so highly recommend it. Go find it. I'm sure it's floating around out there somewhere. This is by... Uh, I don't know who put this out. But they put out a whole bunch of these... They call them Gaslight Crimes. This is a UK company. So but I'm sure they're around. But yeah. Highly recommended by this fellow and that uh, lady. I just read her review. Which I thought she did a great job writing that. I agree. So that's it for today. I'm doing more movies and book reviews now. That's all I'm doing right now because I'm working on my novel, which is uh, come along nicely. It's uh, halfway there. So hopefully come out in the summertime. You never know. All right, everybody. Have a great day. I'll have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.